In this video, I'm going to show you how you can automatically post all your tweets and retweets to your Discord server. Can I get a oh yeah? Oh yeah! To get this done, we're going to be using this service called IFTTT. That's 3Ts.com. Just make sure you get an account, you like sign up and do all those things. I'm just going to create a new account right now. This is the home screen after you create the account and sign in. So once you're in home, then you're going to go to this tab called create. And in this page is where we're going to connect Twitter and Discord. So where it says if this, we're going to search for Twitter, Twitter, there we go. And we're going to select this first card, new tweet by you. We're going to connect our Twitter account, connect, sign in. What's my username? Okay, so I've connected my Twitter account. If you don't select any of these, only your tweets will be posted automatically. But if you select the retweets also, whenever you retweet something, that's going to be sent to your Discord as well. Replies are a little ugly, so like, who wants to see a reply, right? So I'm just going to leave the tweets and the retweets. So create trigger, and we have that set up. Now, then that, which is if a tweet is sent, then do this, and that's going to be send it to my Discord, right? So I'm going to click add. And I'm going to select here webhooks, webhooks, okay? I'm gonna select this card, make a web request. We're gonna click connect. And we're gonna have this little form, beautiful form, okay? Now that you have this form up, let's go back to our Discord server because we need to create a webhook. And if you've never done it, this is extremely easy. Here in our Discord server, we're gonna go to server settings and then integrations. The first thing that says webhooks, create webhook. And here, the only thing that we really need to tweak is where I want these messages to be sent. I'm going to select the general channel and that's where I want all the tweets to go. So I can save the changes. Now, if I leave it like this, the tweets are gonna show like they were sent by a bot called SpideyBot with this default ugly picture. So I wanna make it funnier, I wanna make it look nicer. So I'm gonna select the profile picture and just change this name, right? All right, so now I've changed the name and the profile picture and now the tweets are gonna look like they came from a bot called Beyonce. So like, I don't know, that's just like more engaging than just the default, right? Now we have the webhook created and we're gonna click here where it says copy webhook URL, copy. And let's go back to IFTTT. We come back to the form. We're gonna paste our webhook URL, paste. Don't have to do anything else there. Then where it says method, we're gonna select post here where you have content type, you're gonna click on application slash JSON and on body, this might seem a little complicated, but it's gonna be like just a little piece of code. I'm gonna leave it in the description so you can copy and paste it. Um, it's just gonna be brackets, brackets, um, whatever those are, quotation marks, content, which is going to be the message, um, quotations again, dots, quotations again. And here you can select just from ingredient, link to tweet, and quotations again. If you wanted to include some text before the link of the tweet, you can include something like, uh, this tweet, tweet was sent by whatever, Maya. Okay. <laughs> so basically on the message content, like what this thing is going to send is going to be this text, this message was sent by whatever, and then the link to the tweet. So we're gonna leave it like that and then create action. Now we're gonna hit continue and finish. You can rename this if you want to, but whatever, just gonna hit finish. No one cares about that. All right, so we have our thing connected, right? So now this usually takes a few minutes. Wait, did we put, wait, cause I think I missed something. Did I miss a bracket? I did. I did miss a bracket, sorry, I apologize. Do you have an opening bracket? and a closing bracket, always. Rookie mistake. Save. So now that we have it connected, I'm gonna let it marinate for a few minutes. And in the meantime, let's go to Twitter and post something. On our Discord server, everything is all right. We don't have any messages yet, but we do have the Twitter here. I'm gonna click on whatever the image thing. And we have this video that I'm going to post. So I'm going to post this video on Twitter. Okay. So now we should check our Discord server. 
and it will not come automatically it usually takes some time if you want to make sure that it's actually running or if it's been a while and you haven't seen the message pop up you want to go to your applet settings and then you want to click in activity here you're going to see what happens if it fails if it run it still hasn't run if it does it shows that it ran properly and if it fails it says that it failed you know so we're still waiting on that i'm gonna give it a few minutes and then come back and see if it runs okay so i tried having this run at like 12 30 something it's 112 right now and i just checked and it finally did it, it this is super slow it is so annoying but here it is here we finally have it it has a profile picture that we set up in the webhook and the name and also the text that we set up as you can see it's all effed up as i did he sent the link and the text and then discord embedded the whole tweet and here's a video we can actually hit play i'm just gonna hit play real quick <laughs> So there you have it ladies and gentlemen remember that you can be featured at the end of these videos if you have any tutorial ideas come to our discord server and drop them there the link is in the description if i haven't done it i'll give you a shout out at the end of the video i hope this one was helpful please leave a like and subscribe to the channel it's totally free have a wonderful rest of the day my friends stay safe out there